Hola buenas. Do you want Spanish citizenship, but you don't want to wait 10 years? Keep watching and find out about the scheme which you could use to speed up the process. I have been reading multiple reports about a 26 year old woman called Sarah Khadem, who decided not to wear her hijab in protest against the death of Masa Amini, who died on the 16th of September 2022. Amini was arrested for not wearing the hijab, which is mandatory under Iran's strict Islamic dress code. She later suffered a heart attack while at a police station, resulting in her falling into a coma. She was taken to a hospital where she unfortunately passed away. Eyewitnesses claimed that she had been physically harmed, but the Iranian authorities refuted allegations of police brutality. Some observers suspected that her arrest might have caused her head injuries, leading to a brain bleed or stroke, which was later supported by leaked medical scans. Back to Sarah now. During a chess competition in Kazakhstan, Sara decided not to wear her hijab. As a result of her statement to not wear the hijab, a warrant for her arrest was posted by the Iranian government. The Spanish government reacted to this by offering Sara citizenship, or so I thought. Firstly, let's acknowledge the amount of courage it would have taken to fight for what is right, even in the face of the consequences for her actions. At first glance, it appears that Sara and her family were given Spanish citizenship but unless you look in more detail, you would be mistaken. Sara isn't just some woman from Iran. She is a wealthy chess player and her husband is a film director. On one website, I found that Sara's net worth is around 5 million US dollars. At first, it seems the news outlets are not painting the full picture. After doing some digging into this story, I found on the Al Jazeera website the following. They obtained residency in Spain through a golden visa scheme after investing at least 500 100,000 euros into property. Sara and her family had already moved to Spain in January, where she met the Spanish Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez, with whom she played a game of chess. Now, at first, the reason I wanted to make this video was because I initially thought, I have been here for five years and I'm only halfway through getting citizenship, which I want more than anything else. And here comes this woman who has literally been handed the citizenship. I was also conflicted with this thought because I understand that she is standing for something that is right. However, the Spanish government could have provided asylum for Sara and her family. She didn't need asylum. Her and her family spent their well-earned money here in Spain, which allowed them to then claim citizenship as a result. Let's be honest, the process is a little bit more complex than that, and several evaluations would have needed to be made. And the scenario set at the tournament in Kazakhstan would have probably been used as leverage to speed up the process. Nevertheless, this is another reason I'm proud to live here in Spain. I believe even if Sara and her family had not gone through with the golden visa scheme, the Spanish government would have offered asylum. So more importantly, why am I telling you guys this? Well, I want to bring awareness to the idea of the golden visa scheme and if it's a route that is viable for you. In brief, you would be making a qualifying investment in the country of 500,000 euros through means such as real estate, capital investment, or a business project or general interest. Successful applicants and their immediate family members can reside in Spain with the possibility of obtaining permanent residence or citizenship. I for one do not have that amount of money, so I need to wait another five years before I can move forward with my personal process. This was an interesting story for me, and I would like to take this moment to express my full support for Sara and her family, the Iranian people, and the current issues in their country. Thanks for watching this week's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.